now proceed with the review of Algeria. In the floor. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. The United States warmly welcomes the Algerian delegation. We commend Algeria on its constitutional reforms, including a provision protecting freedom to manifest religion in worship. We are concerned by the recent arrests of members of the independent media for exercising their freedom of expression. We also note reports that the law on associations is being implemented with a lengthy and cumbersome registration process. We are concerned by recent arrests of Ahmadi Muslims, which call into question Algeria's respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms. We recommend that Algeria, one, amend the law on associations to remove undue restrictions on civil society organizations, Two, work to ensure constitutional guarantees of the inviolability of freedom of thought, conscience, and religions are carried out for all, including for Ahmadi Muslims, and provide that community with the accreditation it needs to worship only, openly and in compliance with Algerian law. And three, amend penal code articles that pu punish peaceful free expression with prison terms to conform to Algeria's constitution. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Israel thanks Algeria for the report presented before us today. Despite some efforts made since its last UPR, Algeria still needs to address many serious deficiencies that remain in the field of human rights, including the lack of freedom of religion and the unequal rights of women. Israel would like to recommend Algeria the following. First, allow full freedom of belief to all religious groups, especially the Ahmadi minority, which suffers from continued persecution. Second, give full and equal rights to women in all areas. Third, abolish the article in the penal code which allows rapists of underage girls to escape trial by marrying their victims. Fourth, stop arresting people for same-sex relations. Fifth, conduct, conduct thorough investigations of human rights crimes and abuses perpetrated during the internal armed conflict in the 90s. And sixth, take full responsibility of the Sahrawi refugee camps that are located in Algerian territory and protect the human rights of all persons present there. I thank you, Mr.